Cause that mother went under the hoop. Oh, can I do it up here? On the pew? Oh, let me find out. Let me find out. Alright, hold on. Let me see. Now, this would be dope. This would definitely go on TikTok if I make this. Oh, yeah, baby. Nah, we gotta add a lot more on it than that, man. Can't be no, no chicken on this. What is up, everybody? This is your boy, 559517, signing in. All right, so we know that it works. Got my snake here. All right, all right. Uh, so y'all can see it better. We're going to change the... We're going to change it here. So y'all can see a little better. Ball Python here. Uh, Don to the wine. Thank you, man, for the uh, love and support. Do appreciate you, big dog, for being here. As always. As always. Uh, so yeah. I'm doing a little stream with the uh, Ball Python. I call her. Uh, well, I ain't gonna tell y'all the name. I call her because I got somebody don't like the name. That I call her, so I'm gonna maybe uh changing the name. Uh so with that being said, here she is. Live and well. She kinda look, looking like she in striking position because I just took her out. And she don't be in the office a lot. Normally I have her in, in the front at rooms and stuff like that. So she don't really come back here as much. So I guess she's gotta make sure that there's no threat and uh that she's gonna be good and safe. And I guess once she do that. She would settle down and probably try to uh, crawl all on my uh, my desk here, but uh, we'll see how that goes. You know, she's a real cool, calm, collective uh, pet. She's nothing like my uh, Goliath bird eating tarantula. I will say that my Goliath bird eating tarantula, man, she is just she's something else. She's a different breed. She got a real short temper, and it's like she is not. Uh, one that you can really uh handle, you know what I'm saying? Because she like strikes and bites at everything. I'm talking about tarantula. I'm not talking about this uh cool, calm, and collective snake here. It's one of this is my first snake I ever had. And when I go to the pet store and I go down there to uh uh get food for my tarantula, you know, I didn't seen this one and another one in the same uh enclosure together, and I'm like, you know, I always. I never been a fan of snakes, but I will say this: like since I got her, like she, it really helps. She really helps, you know, just being able to hold something and you know they're uh, they high risk or you know they 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 dangerous. Uh, not to me though, but you know, you know how aggressive they can be, and it it just feels good that. You know, she don't show me, or at least she haven't yet shown me any of that type of aggression. So, like, when I go get her and pick her up, you know, she just kind of just wraps around my, my fingers or whatever I use to, to grab her. It's normally my hand. Now, I don't really want to touch her with anything else because I want her to get used to me. You know, so especially by this being my first one that I had. Uh, and she's just still right now. She's just scoping things out. But she... She's very attentive. I will say that. Very attentive. So, you know, it's always a pleasure uh, having her around. 
you know, because I could interact with her way more than I can with Teresa, which is my, again, Goliath bird eating Tarantula. So uh, Teresa is not the type of person that, I mean, not the type of uh, pet that you can just handle all willy nilly. So, you know, that is uh, get a real good look at her. She's got a tongue hanging out because she's still trying to get a sense of things to see what's going on. And uh, I was told, you know, when I did my research that, um, you know, the more they got their tongue out, they trying to get a sense of what's going on in their environment. You know what I mean? Just to make sure there's nothing that's posing a threat to them and all those good things. So, yeah, this is what we got. My new baby. My new baby. And, you know, she probably get active whenever she decided to get active. But like I said, I'm I bringing her in something totally different, a totally different uh, setting than what she's used to. And there's a lot brighter back here, so she probably don't even like that either. You know. Yep. This is the baby. <laughs> and she uh, did her first shed maybe a couple of weeks of me having her. Her first shed. So that was pretty uh, cool to clean up. You know. But she had a uh, shed all over the place. So we are going to be doing some Elevation Spring uh, gameplay here uh, in a moment. I do have that up and ready to go. I actually probably need to turn off the vehicle while we uh, own that. So that I don't have any, it don't break down on me before I get a chance to drive it. Another thing that I do like about it, like, she's so attentive. Like, if I'm talking to somebody in front of me, you know, somebody walk up. You see how she's just constantly looking at the screen, you know. Uh, but it's like if I walk, you know, somebody walk in front of me, like, she got their eye on them. You know, like, she ain't about to let them come up and do nothing stupid. So I be loving that. She's very attentive. Very attentive. And she don't mind letting you know that she's about that life. So I do hope everybody's having a fan fucking fantastic day. I know it's still the weekdays, but the weekend is clo coming close. I know if I kind of put it down low enough to the uh, desk, she'll uh, try to crawl on the desk. Like I said, man, I just enjoy having her. And I usually see like when snakes, you know, be wrapped around somebody's hand or fingers like she is around mine. Like, do it hurt? Do it? Do she squeeze it uh, tight and stuff like that? But now nah, she just keep a little firm grip on it to where she won't go nowhere. You know. But no pain or nothing like that. Let's see what we got here. I'm only gonna keep her out just for a few more moments, and then I'm gonna go put her back up in her comfortable enclosure. I just kind of want to try to get a real good look at my baby. Newest to the uh, Firefly 9517 uh, family. Survival, what is up? Welcome to the stream. How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> You know, this is my new baby. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at that. Now she want to get active. See, Survivor get uh, on the channel. She want to start moving around a little bit more. That ought to tell you something, Survivor. Howdy, howdy. I'm all right. Finally got on my PC. Oh, yeah. Well, that's good. Everything going good with the PC? It's all in working order. I might have to start her uh, a YouTube channel. Like I always say, 
Ain't none of my pets about to be in my house living for free. They all about to get a job. And they better do good with their job to bring in some good money. Unless they're going to be out the door. I'm just playing, though. They ain't going nowhere. What the auto mod doing now? Why is it always doing stuff to you? Auto mod. I don't even fool with that auto mod. Zori, what is up? I asked you if it was a snake and you said no. You lied. What are you talking about? I never asked anybody questions that they asked me if it was a snake. Nobody ever asked me that. Won't let me curse. Why y'all want to curse survivor? Curse. You know I'm going to prove it. I don't know why it does that. I need to change the settings. But every time I say that, I never had time to get it too. I've been working on the server so much. Or working. Period. Uh, that's definitely a snake. Oh, yeah. Definitely. A ball python, as the title stated. Ball python. Uh, I just turned off auto mod. That's what I did. LOL. Okay. Is that in the, uh, I guess it's in the, uh, read the name more carefully. That, that, that tells me nothing. <laughs> like read the name more carefully. Anybody else know? I see. I mean, how slow can I read it? <laughs> um, uh, maybe, maybe I think I know. Then maybe not. That's a, a far fetch one, though. That'd be very far fetch for me to think that. Now I got to take a drink on that one. See what we got. Hydrate. Oh, I'm already about to do it. Look at that. Hydration. Oh, by the way, survival. I'm glad you're here. I owe you 10 minutes of not cursing because I failed you on the last one. But I'm going to do you one even better. I'm going to do you one even better. I'm going to give you 20 minutes of not cursing. <coughs> Starting right now so when that is dang man i got a long time i don't know if i should do that that's that's tough <laughs> but i'm gonna i'm gonna do that for you i'm gonna do that for you 20 minutes of not cursing what time is it now 10 35 my time central standard time so at 10 55 i'm cursing my ass out oh damn i just fucked up already all right we're gonna start it now we're gonna start it now hold up <coughs> damn i feel that quick all right, let's start it now. And this time I'm about to really watch what I say. All right, so we'll do 10.36. When it turns 10.36, we're going to start it. And at 10.56, then that's when it's going to be over. And let's hope that I hold off that long, because that is a long time not to be cursed, especially when you have people that make me curse. And I'm, I'm going to tell you like this, man. I don't even like cursing. You know what I mean? I don't. I have to spill my drink. Then I'm going to be pissed. Oh, I'm going to be pissed. Ain't that right, girl? Ain't that right, girl? We got my girl in the hizoo. She really don't know what to do. Uh oh, we got some movement. Where you going, baby? Where you going, baby? I like when she like kind of like laid. She laid like her head like right here on this part of my uh wrist, and I like that. Look at it. She up here looking down, trying to see something. What you trying to see, girl? You probably trying to get ready to crawl down. You ain't going nowhere, are you? Nope, don't do it. Don't do it. 
She wanna call she wanna come down. <laughs> she say shit. She wanna she wanna be counted. You can't do that, baby girl. I can't have you on my desk. <clears throat> Fuck that. I just fed her uh, last week, so I feed her once a week. What you gonna do? What you gonna do, girl? See, there she go. Yeah. I just love how she just gets so active. Let me see if I can show y'all what she's doing here. Okay. Hey, I'll be using uh Paul White for today's patrol in the county. So just know that Paul White is about to make his debut. Now see, Teresa, she won't let me play with her like this. She'll be ready to strike every time I come near her. Hell, I put water in her water dish and she starts striking at the water. And that right there told me that she is not one to play with. She actually over here just looking at me. Like, man, what you doing, man? What you doing? I'm doing me. I'm doing me. Look, don't be looking at me like that, bro. <laughs> look, don't be looking at me like that. Why you gotta look at me like that, bro? <laughs> I'm a sneak. Yep. Hey, you know what? That'd be a good clip. Somebody clip this here. This would be a good clip. We bonding. She bonding. I'm bonding. And we bonding. We do the stir contact. And the thing is, see, motherfuckers be like, if she ever bites you or something like that, or, you know what I'm saying, if she do this or she do that, what would you do? Well, I'm going to tell you like this. I feel, I do believe, my life is way more important than hers. <laughs> Uh, I'll stretch it like those belts. Like you do a belt when you're trying to pop the belt. I'll stretch her all the way out until she just break in the middle. <laughs> we ain't going to play them games. I take my life very seriously. See, now that I said that, now look at it. She want to get the hell away. I guess I won that. I won that stir down. Look at her. Where you going, baby? She just checking some things out. That's all. She just checking a few things out. Now she's just looking at me. Like I'm stupid.
You gonna look at me again? <laughs> Hey, now what if she try to strike me alive? Y'all gonna see that right hook come up like, bitch, wow. Now let me stop. <laughs> <clears throat> if she try to strike me, I can't get mad. I knew she was a snake when I got her. <laughs> Flat out. I knew she was a snake when I got her. So I can't expect her to be loyal to your boy. Hmm. Yeah, like I said, we got uh, Paul White coming out on this patrol when we get started. He driving his supervisor vehicle. He don't have a plate. Well, he, he has a plate, but it's not what he should have. But we don't have anything set in place as of now that is active. So he can get away with this and not get in trouble. Now, because of what Paul White has been doing a lot of lately, which is a lot of policy uh, breaking issues and a reason uh, in survival, I still need you on that, too. We got to do that. Uh, I want to bring my case to the media to see if I get the support from the community that they trying to fire me on something that they don't even have policies for. And at the time that I that Paul White done all this stuff. At the. <laughs> but at the time Paul White done all this stuff uh, I figured since you were reinstated that wasn't needed uh, any longer laugh out loud well and, and that's why I was telling Chris, because they did this whole firing thing and, and made this a, a public thing, <clears throat> I told him that I still want to RP out the whole outcome of it instead of just bringing Paul White back. Because right now, people are looking at it like that. He got fired, but all of a sudden, he appeared back. It should be a storyline behind that. So I want to continue that storyline before, he, before he's uh, officially back on the job. Because right now, he's supposed to be like suspended without pay type stuff. So I still want to be able to bring the media, get the media involved, so we try to get the community involved to fight for my case, you know, that I can keep my job. And when uh, maybe uh, we could say a union rep on Paul White's part come up and say, hey, there's nothing in the policy that, he's, that he so-called broke that is in writing. Everything that y'all are saying that he broke, that's what y'all are saying, but there's nothing in writing. That, that he broke any policy. So based off of that, and even though Chris is now making a uh, uh, LEO, <coughs> a law enforcement policy for all uh, LEOs, he has to put a date on that when that was uh, active, when it was created and active. So that date is not going to match the date as to when all this uh, stuff happened with uh, Paul White. Why does they keep doing that? What is this? Is that like a slideshow of some sort? Maybe it is. All right, let's do that. I think that's what it was, slideshow. But who does a slideshow of that? Doesn't make any sense. Anyway, correct it. But uh, yeah, so that's 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 the uh, whole deal of it. And then like we got the Weezer News uh, interior. So it's like once we, um, you set up a time where I can come down there and then maybe the, uh, Cause now Chris is a sheriff, but he wasn't a sheriff at first. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's bear that in mind. But maybe he could come down and he can, uh, you know, give his port on why he thought that he should be suspended and all that. And I want to make sure I got all my video footage of how I was treated. They pulled guns out on me in the whole nine. You know what I'm saying? And, and you know he treated me very bad. I, I didn't even feel like an officer at that moment. I actually felt like a a, a criminal. 
and I've done nothing wrong. Nothing for the policy that he said that I broke. I've done nothing like that. And then I've done nothing to break the law either. Because had I broke the law, he would have, you know, he would have arrested me or at least tried to. So, you know, I ain't do nothing like that either. But, uh, yeah, that's what we got. So, yeah, I still need you on that. We just got to get a time together where we can, I don't care if we just record that part where we can show that this part did happen. You know what I mean? This, this issue was resolving. Yes, we took it to the media and, and those things like that. You know? Now she want to get active. What she trying? She trying to get on the desk. That's what she trying to do, y'all. Yeah, she want to get on the desk, crawl around and all that good stuff, and find somewhere else to ball up at. But it's amazing how long she could just stay hanging in a position like that. Like my my arm was hurting already. Well, not really though, but it will be if I hold it any longer. Well, maybe a lot longer, but it's just amazing how she could just stay in this one position and just hang off. But I like rubbing her. Look at she's, she's trying to get on that desk, man. Woman, you better hey, chill out. I ain't letting her on the desk. She can hang that shit up. Well, she's pure muscle. You ain't lying. And look, they ain't even got to work out. They born like that. Ain't that some shit? Hey, I don't like that position. I don't like that. That S, when they in that S, that S shape is kind of like they striking pose. So when you see that S shape, be a little concerned. But you have to know your pet too, to know like what they will do and what they won't do. She putting her tongue on my, on my thumb. I wish I could see that. Can y'all see that? She ain't gonna do it now. How y'all liking the snake? So we put it up and get some patrols going. I did uh, feed her and got that recorded. But the first time I fed her, she was so aggressive with that damn uh, little mice. I almost felt bad for the mice. The second time I fed her, you could see she squared the, the mice so hard that you could see that it was gasping for her, but just couldn't get it because she was squeezing the life out of it. At least you're feeding her. Oh, yeah. I got to feed her. <laughs> How else will she survive? But I don't feed her in the same, uh, I don't feed her in the same enclosure where she's always at. I take her out of that one, and then I have another container that I only feed her in. Because once she get in that container, you could see her, like, getting real active and moving and looking around because she knows it's time to eat. Now, they say, they say that you're not supposed to really feed them like where they be at all the time, because normally snakes like that, especially like if you never pick them up and handle them, they say you should handle them like at least 15 minutes, twice every day, maybe once in the morning, once in the uh, evening. But you should pick them up at least for 15 minutes, uh, twice a day. And uh, handle, that way they get used to it. And then, but if you only feed them where they sleep at or live at, and it's like every time that you put something in there, they know it's food. So let's just say, for instance, you want to, you know, maybe pick her up one day. She's not going to know you you picking her up. She's going to assume your hand is food because she just adapted and just used to anything that coming in there is food. So she might bite you. That's why they say do it that, that way. I always feed them in a different container. But even then, when I do that, it's hard to get her out because if I try to put my hand in her, she's striking at everything. You know what I'm saying? Like she think everything in there that's coming in there is food. And it's like, I just fed you. You just ate. So it's like, I'm trying to pick you up to put you back in your regular enclosure. And you, you, you know what I'm saying? You're striking at me. Like, but that's how it is. So what I normally do is I just 
bring that container over hers and just kind of gently tilt it up and let her slide back in her own container. Because as long as she in that food container, anything going in there, she's striking at it because she thinks it's food. So I had to learn that. I ain't gonna say the hard way, but through experience. So that all worked out. And it's just kind of fascinating to see how they eat their food and, you know, just swallow it whole. But I might start try. I might try two uh, mice because she ate that other one so fast, like within 10 minutes, she had it all down and she was still ready for more. So I might go with uh, two mice, but she's small right now, though. I don't want to overdo it. You know, she did just had, she did just said it. So, you know, she probably have a bigger appetite now, though. But like I said, I'm going to wait. I'm going to hold off before I try to overdo it. Uh, it's one enough for like a month. Oh, no. Oh, no. Like I said, I got to feed her every week, at least once a week. Two times a week at the most. But I got to feed her at least once a week. You know, just like a baby. Like when they're young, they eat more. They shit more. So just like a baby. So she eat more while she young. Now, as she get bigger, the food, I would get bigger, you know, saying, uh, I'll start getting like rats, you know, and depending on how big she get, she get up to like five and a half feet. So depending on how big she actually get, anywhere between four and a half to five and a half, I would say, uh, feet. So that'll determine like what I get for her at that moment. Now, the bigger the food is, the longer it would take for her to digest it. And so then that may, could go to like three weeks to maybe a month before she has to eat again. Because it's going to take her a minute to digest the food that she just ate. So the bigger the uh, food item is, the longer it would take uh, to digest it. So I got to make sure whatever I give her, you know. They said the, the fattest part of their body, you're not supposed to give them anything bigger than the fattest part of their body which is normally like the middle part of their body so anything bigger than that you shouldn't give them the same way with uh tarantulas you should never feed them anything bigger than a abdomen so if their abdomen is like we'll say that big don't give them nothing this big because they're not gonna they're not gonna really uh go after it for real they may run from it they know it's something bigger than them. And then if they do go heads up with it and just luck up on the kill, yeah, they're going to eat it for sure. But I seen Teresa, sometimes she just get annoyed with stuff and she'll kill it and just leave it there just because it kept moving around in her area and she didn't like that. So that's what Teresa did a few times. That's why I know she got a very short temper. So I don't really uh, handle her. Actually, I don't handle her at all. Now, I have rubbed her abdomen a few times and things like that, but I don't really fool with Teresa. What you looking at, girl? What you looking at? Since you want to get on this desk. Since you want to get on the desk. You just want to go anywhere right now. Don't you? Don't you? I know you do. But I'm about to go ahead and put her up real quick, so we'll be back. Uh, and we'll start the patrol once I get back. So y'all just give me a second and I'll uh, get her put up and then we'll go from there. So give me a moment. I guess we'll get some music playing back for that time. Um, I do want to thank you all so much for the love and support. Don to the wine. Thank you so much for being the first one in the stream, big dog. Appreciate it. Survival Amazon. Thank you for all your creative work with the community. And also your love and support as well. We're going to be just driving up out of here because I got some things I got to take care of. And um, I got some recordings to do. And as you can see, I got a lot of fucking key bonus uh, issues to uh, work out. So, without further ado, this is your boy, 55817, signing out. You all have a fan-fucking-tastic day. And until next time, family. I ain't wanna do that just yet. There we go. Get that one up there first, and then we do that. Boom! Just like that. You see it.